fun here of the day. For those of you just tuning in, it is Secret taking on the side of Luitas. Should be fun, man. I think this will be a fun series. At least I hope Straight so. Off the... <laughs> uh, the I mean, every GTB. time you say that, I, I always think, like, what if it just isn't? What if it just <laughs> isn't fun? What if you just started the day going, I hope this isn't a fun series? <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that you just break cryptic. Just the day no. you break. <laughs> it's like every day. <laughs> um, I actually uh, a big fan of like Nature's Profits going TP level one nowadays as opposed to Sprout A, just because I think it's really good to be able to just instantly rotate if you need it. But that bonus good. physical damage always is nice. But he gets out two great wards. Yeah, it's gonna help kind of scout out general rotations. Um, I don't know how often they'll be coming from the top side of the map. Because normally you want to find the Shaker movement, because Shaker is a hero that in for position 4 you buy boots relatively earlier than other 4 positions, and like to kind of poke your head into other lanes. Either way, so you have opted to kind of put vision towards the top side of the jungle. Maybe scouting out the stacks, mid one is getting jumped low and deleted in 2 so, seconds. 4 runes, but the first blood for the offlane Weaver. Uh, gold-wise, it's definitely a negative for... It's actually so crazy to be thinking about it. It's like you actually get more gold Ooh, for four bounty rings than the first blood. But, oh, no. okay. They're just going to block it. I guess that works, too. They will force it into the wave. Uh, top lane, though. The return kill as they take down Lumiere. So, What's benefits of off? having teleportation available under Nature's Profit. That is the reason right there. And I like, I love that Yamich starts this game with a Windlace. Just giving him a little bit more move speed and the fact that, like, Hoof Stomp doesn't have the wind-up, right? You can actually, like, just run down a hero and get the Stomp. It's cool. It's also the fact that he's playing into double ranged heroes. So he knows if he goes Boots, it's going to be relatively illegal. You never really buy Boots. Yeah, sorry, let me, you never buy Boots 1 on 4 anymore, right? Like, you need the stats, you need the resources. You don't have any armor on a Centaur as well. So if you uh, don't have any move speed and no armor, <laughs> what are you bringing to the lane? So I think this is like kind of vibes. the middle ground for him. <laughs> Just He's bringing good some luck. vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, King, I believe. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He's currently so, vibing with Panda around the triangle. Yeah, I mean, Panda's probably dead here. Well. Uh, I mean, these are two insanely high damage heroes. The Blood Grenade not even necessary as the Stomp comes out. They re the creeps and Puppy gets another kill. Where's my where's my Sata shockwave, huh? Give me give me some of that boom Hadouken blast into uh oh panda dead to neutral creeps. But yeah, not the not the best start. Puppy of course being very, very active and I guess one of the benefits of having the Weaver offlane will be that Sakuchi to disengage from the static link outside of which every other offlane that doesn't really have mobility. Get forced to getting drained. But yeah, secret, they're gonna look to continue finding kills. Oh man, so close. They almost get the bear top lane, but good position there from Boom. Gets the resummon. The I feel TA like... is really struggling CS wise here. Yeah, so TA, TA struggles into Lone Druid because you like to bully heroes, not the summons of heroes, right? And now Boom, of course, he's going to be able to tank up the Mel Strikes with the bear. He also died early on, so there was a little bit of an advantage going to Secret. And I think. He knows in the back of his mind, if he steps up too far to the lane, Puppy will just TP in, right? Like, there's no reason for Puppy to have to lock himself into bot lane. Because Crystalis, with a Wraith Band, with a stick, with the Shaker position 4, like, one Fissure, sure, it might prevent Crystalis from getting back to his tower, but there's no real major kill threat on this safe lane Razor. So it yeah. means Puppy can be as, you know, as Puppy as he wants to be, because he, he doesn't have to kind of be bot lane. All right, there is one thing I want to talk about, and it's the fact that Dark Mago in the mid lane is doing very well on his Timber Saw. Because we have seen a lot of games where he was either kind of sacrificed in the draft or just they get, like didn't have a good matchup and just got absolutely crushed. But for him now, he's farming. Like, he's 18 and 7. He's getting good amounts of XP. And I'm curious to see if he can actually like hit a timing that's going to help. Because he will definitely need to, based on the fact that this top, top lane, lane, once again, Lumiere is in danger. He's trying to keep himself alive, find a kill onto Yamich, but the Sprout from Puppy 
as he makes his rotation, and now they should be able to just dive him. Yeah, the root comes out. This top lane is a disaster. Yes. I think it's close to being an unplayable lane right now for, for the uh, side of what he does. Is he going orb? Oh, he already has the orb. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, uh, I'm curious if he was going to bother going orb with Corrosion, because I've seen lone druids get starts like this, and they buy like a literal six minute diffusal blade and then just come to lane with the diffusal at six minutes and start killing the support over and over oh. Oh, they brought more help ball? yeah yamich oh, is in a really rough spot here so this should be a kill onto the centaur if he can get close enough but the roots catch ta again so he will not be able to uh, be granted the kill either way they still pick it up for panda Yeah, going back to mid lane, this Timbersaw, he is going for kind of like the old school skill build, right? Going for multiple points in reactive armor. We'll see if he opts to go for more points as he now starts to put three into one lane death, but into an invoker that he has, of course, very good damage uh, being a universal hero, but I think Timbersaw, you're, you expect him to see us well, right? When he has this type of build. Yeah. Yeah, he needs that soul like, ring wow. very soon. <laughs> yeah, it's like he needs soul just ring, nothing to play around. Like soul ring, mana boots, and a team, right? Like, of course, yeah. Timbersaw thrives on catapult waves, but when Nature Prophet can TP in, when Centaur with boots win lace will be very quick to move around the map, and TA does die top lane. It's near impossible for them to actually play a, a, a normal safe lane here. They're, they're just tri laning. And Panda, he's also getting jumped and probably dying as well. Yeah. They just keep Yamich dying in the just top lane. Uh, yeah, the bear, if it gets one attack, that is going to be curtains for Panda here. Is tries to pop the fairy fire, no stick available, but the orb of corrosion with the slow should be more than enough. And another kill. And your top tower is gone. Like, the catapult is still alive. Yamich is tanking this tower as long as he possibly can along the side of Puppy. And with that, your five minute catapult just should clean again, this though. up. Uh, Lumiere is getting super aggressive. Wraparound from Knight. This would be a great kill. He needs the auto attack and he gets it. Okay. Good play there from the Shaker, honestly, on that wraparound. Yeah, Puppy had uh, decided to, to take a trip to the left. And of course, Centaur only had like 100 HP to his name. But I was expecting the bear to instantly start right clicking away and maybe use the Sprout. But of course, probably a little bit too greedy. Especially when you see the positioning for the Shaker there. Look at Puppy. He TP'd back top immediately and kills the tower. This Very guy, nice. dude, you're kidding me. I mean, he's got There's no a boots. In, his side, in their side, sorry. They're going to be all waddling away. Go on. Waddle, waddle. Shaker is going to run to the ends of the earth looking for this guy. Oh, the curry might spot him out. Dyer, oh, Curry didn't see him. Go, go, it's go, go, him. go. <laughs> get him, Knight, get him. Oh, oh no, doesn't Knight doesn't care anymore. He's just over no. it. We're going to see some rotations for the top lane here as Chrysalis has eyes on Lumiere thanks to this ward, and Puppy is going to use that to his advantage as well. Tries to get the block here on the Sprout, but oh, yeah. damage. <laughs> Oh, pig pole actually, sir. Oh, no, what a no way. What a stomp indeed. Go for the dive out of the tower. Chrysalis should be able to finish him off. Oh, my goodness. That was like the last pixel of that stomp Ca catches him. And mid lane, Puppy immediately TPs there and helps pick off the uh, Templar Assassin. Or, I'm sorry, the Ancient Apparition. We haven't actually touched on this yet, but. They picked TA last in the draft, right? Lost, last in the draft. Razor is like a very good counter to a carry TA. Because Razor naturally, as we watched him before, get jumped in the mid lane, stomp and dead. Like, I'm a little bit surprised now that I've actually kind of processed it that they picked a TA into one of the better counters for this hero. And we're yet to even see the Razor have to threaten this TA. And the reasoning is TA is quite a melee style ranged here, right? She knows to get into yeah. the middle of it and she's just getting jumped again. Like, Boom is crushing this top lane. Mid one, trying to disengage. Great rotation from Oscar dead. here. Yeah. He needed that. Uh, courier. Turns it back around as he TPs home. He'll be fine. 
So yeah, I was gonna. I was actually when I saw the the TA come out initially, that was like one of the first slots. I just completely forgot uh, about that matchup until you just mentioned it again. Yamich here trying to run away has Oscar and Lumiere in pursuit. I feel like this should eventually be a kill, but this is gonna take a little while. Good stomp. Trap, though, with the slow. Lumiere is looking for the melt strike, and he will get it. All right. Helping this TA get back online. He needs the experience more than anything. He is super underleveled compared to this, you know, Chrysalis Razor who's level 8 already. Yeah, everyone on the side of Secret is doing very, very well, right? Both for economy and also levels. Yamich is the sacrificial lamb in this game, right? He is level 4 to, to Puppy's level 6, nearly level 7. He has got boots with later. I think he's just kind of what Yamich is doing. He's the information gatherer, right? Like he wants to go find that random hero in that spot and then pop your TP in, get the kill. He'll leave and then Yamich will probably have to go and die after, right? But it allows for, for plays to be made on the map. So Yamich, this time oh. jumping down Mega again. He just died seconds ago, so he's got to be careful. And yeah, dead. He's dead again. Do the tumbler toy from the smoke, the night vision. Just didn't have it. Really well played there from Yamich to bring the lone druid mid and now threatening this mid tower, likely to fall. So I don't know how you stop this lone druid. I don't know how you stop anything now. It's like if you just click on Weaver and you click on TA, this was my biggest concern with these two heroes. They're the same thing. Dragonlance Falcon Blade, Dragonlance Half Adesso. Different... Yeah. yeah. Like, one's going for a Maelstrom, one's going for a Dessa. It's just, it's, a, it's an absence of presence on the map, and Secret are exploiting that quite delightfully as they take their second tower of the game. They've done such a good job at identifying, like, what they can even Ooh. do on the side of Awitas, right? Like, ganking this Timbersaw now twice in the mid lane has just completely shut down his ability to, to make plays. And I mean, he's looking for boom here on the lone druid. In comes the defusal. Gonna put what damage out he can, but it's just way too tanky. All right, I guess he's not done considering still going for more. Puppy level seven on this nature's profit. Nearly the same net worth as the mid lane timber saw at this point. And has Atos complete. Like he is ready to be active. He is ready to help provide that additional control. Oh, nice vision. Yeah, great fissure indeed, but there it is. The Atos comes out. Boom, chasing a Tumblr toy over the fissure from Yamich. He does get completely melted, though, thanks to that Whirling Death. And oh, in comes rude. Shaker. He tries to Tumble Toy it and instead just gets immediately rooted. No <laughs> Echo Slam for you, sir. All right, who, who, let's be real. Whose Tumblr toy was worse, Centaur or Shaker's? <laughs> <laughs> they were both they both had like such hype potential and both just <laughs> fell flat like they tripped as soon as they landed yeah. <laughs> stubbed their toe oh god that's that's great it's like centaur jumps into a timber saw of course how the game's going that's fine but he dies and then shaker of course with the the tumbler no slam but either way secret they continue to apply the pressure four thousand net worth to them the way that, of course, Puffy is playing, he is scaling, he is hitting creeps. Potentially going to be overtaking the mid timber sword at some point in this game. And that is just the way that Secret play as a team, right? And I think the way that Yamich plays provides Puffy that entry. The way that Boom constantly pushes the lane forward gives him further reason to try and find fight. And they dive the tower, they see Panda. Mid one's here again to assist with the kill. Yep. Bottom lane, they do at least find a kill there onto the centaur as Dark Mago is able to make it out. And Chrysalis, he's committed a lot for this. Oscar with the time lapse is they pay out for more. There you go. The Echo Slam only really catches the profit at the end of the day. And Puppy, he's sitting on 1400 HP. They actually can't kill him. They're forced to back away. Mid one, nice tornado. Does manage to catch off Knight here. And that will be another kill going the way of Invokers. Oscar hits the road as well. They just couldn't, they didn't get close to killing Puppy. No, he's so tanky, right? With the, the five armor from Medallion with the extra 300 HP of Atos. So, so tanky. And now he sets up onto mid. You show yourself for a second on this map, you are going to be going down. That's a mega kill streak now 
Puppy, 5 0 and 8 at the 13 minute mark. Only 300 gold behind the mid timber saw. Again, this is because of how secret plays. It really just enables that aggression. And I say that they just smoked up. Like, they, they, they take they top tier the two, they rune. react to bot lane, they kill mid, they smoke. Like, they're making so many plays across this map. And TA, she opted to go for the blink dagger early on. She knows that she can't hit creeps. She needs to have some type of timing to play on. I actually really like that. I think if he goes just straight Deso, there's not a single hero that can play with this timber saw. And you have this offlane weaver. He's been getting farm. Like he's level 10 oh, now, but. Whoa. The trap just barely misses. Tumblr Toy once again. Fissure to block him off. Has to pop the stampede. The damage from the TA with the blink will finish him off. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, again, it's, you know, just your support centaur. It's not a massive kill. But the question is if they can convert this to anything else. Probably not. I feel like the way Yamich has been playing has greatly enabled Secret. But also there's a point where it's like, all right, you've done it like four times too many now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Radiance middle tower is under attack. He is uh, yep. about 300 gold away from his blink dagger. I just when I look at what we time uh, items across all heroes, there is just a little bit of a concern of like, what what is their moment, right? It's like Maelstrom is just getting completed for the Weaver. Maybe if they try and sneak a Roshan, that could be something. But they need like Hurricane Pikes. They need BKBs. They it's just a lot of economy required. And Shaker is just not close to the to the blink dagger. I think if Knight maybe had a slightly better game, if he's got a kill rather than any of the six assists, that one blink can always turn it around. But he is getting jumped. Having to use Echo Slam to try and survive and just die shortly Surviving after. Surviving is not in the cards for him right now. No. Um, so I'm curious about this Weaver. Like, what do you think the item build is now after the Maelstrom? Like, do you go the Gleipnir? Do you pick up a BKB? Uh, like, where 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 can he scale? Okay, so he just queues up a Gleipnir. Never mind. And Answers the BKB. my question. <laughs> yeah. The, the, ma the main question is, when will he be able to do something? And it will be a lot of uh, waiting. Oh, oh he's... He does have a time lapse and a Sakuchi in two, one, but he's rooted up. He can't get out. Onto the razor, the ice blast connects, and Chrysalis going down. It's a big kill. There's gonna be the stampede coming out from Yamich. Gets the bear close enough. The sun strike to finish him off. But the bear is low. That's a lot of minus armor. Looking for Puppy now. Dark Mago does have a DD. The resummon comes out from Boom. Managed to root up the timber saw once again. The bear, if they can kill it twice, would be massive. The cold feet will connect. The damage from the TA is a lot, but damage from Yamich is better. Able to finish him out, revealing that blink dagger. Puppy and now TP Puppy, back in. or yeah, Panda rather, on the run as Puppy will make his TP. And they get to Lumiere. The cold snap, the vessel, the stomp, he falls as well. They were looking for anything, trying to punish this bear's aggression and instead lose two more heroes. Yeah. Can Oscar find Boom though? Oh, he found Yamich. This Weaver went from being 3-0-2 to 3-2-2 and it's not looking too good for them right now. Good meme, thank you. Yeah, we take a look at the replay here. It's uh, the this is the pro I actually was thinking about this earlier with the like Weaver versus Sprout is if he accidentally Sakuchi's as he gets sprouted, he's done. Like he has no he can't move. So he has to immediately quelling blade and then like you pointed out before, super slow hero. You don't build boots on it. It's rough and Puppy backside great Sprout solo kills off Panda as we're gonna go back into the live and Knight will fall as well. The Chrysalis Dark Mago trying to find a kill. He does. Takes down Puppy, and that's a big streak, uh, sp uh, streak as well. So, it's 745 gold for his troubles. Chrysalis is in pretty deep here. Gets caught from the bugs from Oscar. Instantly cleans those up. Does not want to chase, which I think is probably the correct call there. The my yeah, secret. I feel like they're kind of just playing with their food a little bit, right? Like, they see hero, they run. There's no real conversation occurring. It's just go, 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 get a kill, harpoon, what? grab back. 
From yeah, the good old harpoon during blink can be pretty interesting how that one plays out. And Knight goes in with an echo, tries to clip the invoker, and it's not enough. Puppy will fall. The sacrifice for the TA, absolutely worth it. The difference between uh, the support net worth is really showing, right? Knight not having the blink dagger versus the centaur, who's you know had it for quite a while now, making all the differences. The ward will once again scout Panda. Surviving for the moment, thanks to a Ghost Scepter. Does have Ice Blast, will try and throw it. Does not connect onto, uh, onto the Invoker. What? The bear falling low? They don't want to commit. I don't blame them. Not low enough. They, they really need to get some farm onto this Shaker. He's 100 gold away from his Blink Dagger in the top lane. Like, if there ever was a comeback, it would be around that instant initiation of the Earth Shaker, followed up by the Ice Blast. You'll be able to delete any hero. Timber, Ooh, and on top on. of Dark Mago, and yep. the Spirit Vessel is there. Man, these rotations are instant, it feels like. Puppy is always just with, like ready to TP, calling the shots for his team. Uh, the, uh, this map is just non-existent for Dyer. There's not a single thing they can really do. Like, there is no smoke play to make. There is no Roshan contest to make. There is no tier 1 tower to hit. They are victim to where Secret wants to go. And at some point, Secret Echo might slip up. Hold up. Do they have the Ice Blast? They do. Oh, it only connects onto Boom. Oh, does he, oh he doesn't have Echo for 30 back. seconds. Oh, no. All right, there we well, go. Back into live we go. Oscar does get the time lapse. They take down the lone Druid thanks to the Ice Blast, but Chrysalis looking to just finish this Weaver off, and he will do so. Lumiere looking for an opening to go in on this Templar Assassin, but... Might regret this one. Has to blink up onto the high ground. Dark Mago goes in as well and now stuck in an ice wall. Has one timber chain away, but it's not there. Not fast enough. Lumir might be able to get mid one, actually, with the TA trap there. He's thinking about it. Oh, tries to get the deny off the trap to kill him. I also I do appreciate having getting to watch that harpoon replay. It was quite nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw that too. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, though, secret's so aggressive. Like, I feel like actually any replay will just get halfway through. I'll just hear you going, and they're dying again. It's like okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh, secret keeping up the pressure. The map is completely closed off. Fourteen thousand gold lead now at the twenty-one minute mark. The TA has completed that Desolator with the Blink, the Deso can find oh, pick off. Mid one. one is very much by himself right now. I and mean... Gonna, it, it's a bit unfortunate that the 644 gold, the streak does go the way of Ancient yeah. Apparition. I think if that was going off to TA, suddenly we have a shard in play. We're now talking about the Crystalis, the next item to come through, but still. Secret, they do need to respect the fact that the reason why the game is so easy right now is because all the heroes on Dia are just independent, right? They need items to want to play as a team. And Timbersaw, actually Timber chaining in to his own death, I have... He did not expect, I guess, a no. TP rotation, but I feel like he doesn't have the damage really to kill this Nature's Prophet uh, at this point. This is what I was saying earlier, like typically Timber saws, you have like this Kaya Sanj, you eventually get like Blink and an Ags. It just doesn't work that way anymore. Um, it's so kind of like, and he doesn't tank up as fast. Like you, you pointed out with reactive armor. It's like in these type of games, you need to basically respect the fact that you are getting absolutely destroyed, and your little victories in the game is when you get to farm that extra creep wave, right? Like in a in a stable game, then pressuring for that kill, forcing people around the map, making the map full wide, will naturally feel good. That's like traditional Dota. But when you're down 10k, 13k at 20 minutes. If you're a timber saw there, that creep wave, that's your objective. You push that out, you run back away deep into the jungle, push out a wave, scurry back around, keep skipping. And at some point, once this logic has been applied to your entire team, yeah, sure, people are going to die around the map. You have to take some L somewhere. You can't play everything. You will then find a moment where it's like, okay, I've got the BKB on the tier, the Hurricane Pike on Weaver. We're now going to die to that initiation. Then they can smoke up, right? But... I'm not really seeing Wawitas look for that moment. It does feel like a lot of blind death pushing down lanes without that kind of logic of maybe if we do it, but without trying to just die so quickly. 
uh, it, it could help, you know, slow down the game a little bit. And we'll see how it does unfold soon because, you know, tier threes are still up. Sure, the uh, Aegis is in play for Secret, so they will be looking to most likely convert on their first uh, rack soon. Big items there if you want to try and think about where we're Weetas are now, right? It's the, the Bleed Dagger on Shaker. Oh, Timbersaw. He has the Yules. Yules. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good play. That's a great way to use it. That's cool. But gets caught once again. Thanks to Puppy's Aghanim Scepter as he roots up two on the backside. Does get the jump away here on Knight, but the Timbersaw is in the wrong spot. Nice Ice Blast, but the Weaver goes down. Melt Strike out from Lumiere. Does find himself a kill. He needs help Blink. from the Shaker. Blink is up in a couple of seconds. If he can get to Chrysalis, it would be huge. But boom on these... Lone Druid here, holding back the supports, allows Secret to disengage, and honestly, that could have been a disaster, it looked like. I would even chalk that up as being slightly uncomfortable for Secret. Like, sure, they win the fight, they gain an extra 1,000 gold from that engagement, but... Ooh, they were so close to finding mid ones. Okay, maybe oh, they, they got him find the dust, he walked in. Uh, but backside of the fight, Puppy TP super aggressively trying to block them off. Gets caught by the cold feet, and now Boom is looking for his target. There's your harpoon, baby. The fear comes out, and that's gonna be L. Oh no, he's got fetch. He's fetch. <laughs> oh, come here, boy. <laughs> oh no. Just took night for a walk. Dude, what happens when the dog starts walking the player? In this case, it's like the bear starts walking the player, you know? <laughs> Sorry, what did you call Boom now, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> the panda. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're back in. Oh, my God. This dude just does great. He's just blink force. He's like, yeah, whatever. What are they going to do? Stun me? All right, Disperser for Boom, dude. What an item pickup. It's just uh, another cheap upgrade, right? Especially in this type of game. Oh, that bear is very much in a weird spot. Okay, good pick off. So the resummon will come out and they disengage. Uh, Oscar has just kind of been split pushing on this Weaver for the last like couple of minutes. Uh, as like secret play bottom. So he's getting closer and closer to a BKB. He ended up going back for the Hurricane Pike, which I can definitely understand in this game. Like, needing to get away from this Razor, this Lone Druid. Like, four staff to get out of the Sprouts. Like, there's a lot of different ways that they can control the Weaver. Well, they get Vision of mid one here. There's going to be a nice Fissure. The Chain Stuns are out. Can they find the kill? The Yules to stop him, and the Ice Blast connects. That is a dead invoker. A good start to the fight here, but in comes Chrysalis on this Razor, just chewing through Dark Mago. He tries to TP out. No chance. He's got the shard, man. He's taking you oh, for nice a walk stuff. as well. Panda caught by Centaur Warrunner, trying to TP on out. The fear is there. And of course, the fetch just to secure it. So three for one. Secret not letting you get away with anything here. Step up to the high ground. Should be able to take this tier three tower with ease. You'd expect the racks as well. You don't really want to be buying back in at this. I mean, I say at this stage of the game, at 27 minutes, it honestly is like the late game with how the game's been going. But waiters should be giving this one up for free. Yeah, they do have I, I think, think one more fight in them. They have the smoke. They have the level two slam. Yeah, nice Ace well in 12 too. seconds time. Like this is the moment for Oasis to try and just claw back something. But it will be one of the most predictable smokes as you push out that final wave. It is. It is a little bit too easy to read this, and they are yet to actually pop the smoke. And right now, if you do want a cheeky spoiler. Blacklist is currently 8,000 gold up, taking their own set of racks in their game. And if Blacklist starts to win two games and Secret drops one, then I believe they also tie up for elimination. So if you're a SEA fan right now, you are really hoping Secret drops at least one game in this series. But 
based on this game, it is somewhat unlikely. Yeah, with Puppy now passing even the Weaver in net worth, it is... I don't know. I mean, I, I, concerning is not even the right word at this point, right? This dude has Ag, Solar Crest, Rod of Atos, and nearly a completed BKB. I don't know how he ever dies. Speaking of dying, Lumiere catches a Hex. It's the reveal from mid one. Oh, there is just nothing that you can do. With your TA being dead, you have buyback available. Nice jump here on the Boom Soldier with the Echo. Okay, Knight. There is something you can do. Just kill him if he gets too aggressive on the high ground. Yamich will find Dark Mago. He has and he wants to buy some time. And here comes the buybacks. Osprey the BKB onto mid one. He's too far in as well. He's going to fall as the chase continues into the base. It's going to be Chrysalis to finish off the Ancient Apparition, grabbing himself an ultra kill. But he's got nothing left in the tank. If they can kite this out, they have a lot of... Uh, Potentially here, Yamich is just hiding at the trees in the corner of the base, but they see you, bud, and <laughs> you aren't hiding from anything. <laughs> All right, two buybacks. Is it worth it? I feel like it has to be. I mean, for the first time in the game, you, you get a, a net worth swing going the way of Dyer after a team fight, right? So, uh, I, I guess you take it, right? Like, <laughs> it is the smallest, most irrelevant victory, but you gotta take them when they come, right? For secret, it will just be a matter of a reset and probably go again. But this time, maybe not going past the uh, the towers, just keeping it a little bit more civil. Lumiere will be able to grab their Tormentor this time as it was taken by Secret previously. So, a uh, free shard for his team, which will go quite the long way. Is they could use okay. any injection of money, and it actually goes to Oscar. Okay, what a, I mean, one of the better shards for sure, but he has not been able to buy it as he has been forced to kind of tank up, of mm -hmm. course. So, you know, Dark when Mago. you said about Poppy having good farm, right? It helps Ooh. that he's been part of 35 or 43 kills, potentially yeah. make that. One more. Ooh, nice four stat from Panda there. Yep. Sounds straight. Very much off All the right. mark. That's very close. Nearly getting that kill. I mean, that's a quick reaction from Dark Mago. As soon as the Razor comes out, he gets the Yules into Timber Chain. Does Chrysalis have... Okay, that was just an Invis room. I wasn't sure if he was, like, smoked or something or... He had like a shadow blade all of a sudden. So a 22,000 gold lead, one lane of barracks down. You do manage to get enchanted quiver for Lumiere, which is definitely probably the best tier three item you could ask for on this uh, Templar assassin. So a little bit more ability to, to defend the high ground from range and, and maybe poke down the lone druid. They are smoked up. Where are we? 55 seconds to Roche. Both teams know that this is going to be up soon. Our boom preemptively pops the true form. He's also got his four Wraith Bands completed, so not really afraid of the Minus Armor at this point. They have quite nice positioning as well, right? Just hugging the trees, allowing themselves to have that additional bit of reaction time if they were to, to break a smoke or anything. Gem just instantly gets picked up here. Check for the high ground warden. Ooh, Panda. Yeah, Panda was definitely scouting on the backside here, looking for something. It's gonna be death. That's what he that's what he finds. So TP outs from the side of Awitas here is top lane. I mean they get some decent uh damage. I mean they actually killed the tower, never mind. I thought maybe they chipped the tower, but mid one ends up finishing off the tower uh, in the top side of the map. Do you see Dark Mago going Dagon? He's two and ten, mate. He could buy anything. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I feel like in this game he could potentially still go for maybe the Ags, right? Uh, uh, probably not though as well. It's probably not very good. It's dispellable. 
Yeah. I, it's a weird one. Like, he's... Unfortunately, the last, like, two games, this is now the third that we've watched from him. He's not had very good score lines, right? He had, like, a, what, like, a 115 or something in one game. He had, like, 1-9. He's now 2-10. Like, he's just had a really rough couple of days. And after a good first, like, six minutes in lane on Timbersaw, there was no kind of evolution of his gameplay, right? And I guess... Yeah. They just he buys Dagon in the hope just to surprise, right? Like, it, that kind of feels like their, their play. As much as I meme to his scoreline, like, it does feel like they have had this conversation. It's like, guys, if we want to win a fight, it needs to be the slam, the vortex, the every single drop of damage we have in one moment to hope to get numbers advantage. Maybe they blow up the Lone Druid after Aegis. Maybe they blow up Christmas before BKB. Like, I could see them having a cool goal, but my only concern is... They delete one hero on paper. They just don't delete multiple heroes over the course of an entire team fight. Yeah, I'm trying to understand the Dagon because he goes back, queues up the Bloodstone here. It's like, yes, it will one shot like a Razor Illusion, but I don't know what else it's really for here. So we'll have to find out. Maybe he's working some crazy tech that uh, I'm not seeing. But as of right now, it is a 26,000 gold advantage. Puppy now fourth on the net worth, only behind his own course. So not even Lumiere. Okay, well, I take it back. Lumiere just passed. But it's back and forth, you know? Like, the your, your support profit is enormous this game. Chrysalis, what's he got? Finished up ACBKB. Tier 3 token for what? An Elven Tunic. I mean, that's fantastic. That's very good. A little bit of evasion going his way. A little bit more move speed. We see a smoke come out from... The Dire. Is Boom... I mean, the Bear... I mean, it takes a decent chunk of damage, but top lane. They actually find mid ones Invoker. The Echo to slam as well. Do they have Stampede. the detection? The Stampede is there. Puppy's gonna try and turn it around. Gets the Hex onto the Weaver. The Meatball goes down. He's gotta be able to time last, but the ch the Mini Sun is causing way too much. Oscar forced to BKB finally. Dragon Pike. Hurricane Pikes himself away. The Invoker does die here, but Dark Mago, he's looking for more. He's trying to get this Nature's Prophet. Chrysalis just standing his ground here on the high ground. Puppy with a Sprout to buy him some space, but Mago will finish him off. Okay, two kills. You lose the Shaker, but all of his kits been committed. It's not... It's not that bad here for the Dire if they can keep this base alive. There, starting to get a decent <laughs> chunk of damage. In comes Mago, gets the Chakram, and that finds the kill. Boom, almost goes down to the Dagon, but the true form comes out. There's the resummon. They're looking to finish off this bear once for all, but a fear in the root comes through. Puppy with the Sprout off his buyback, finds the root onto Templar Assassin as well. Ice Blast does not connect anyone, but it's a buyback from Dark Mago. They've got to throw everything they've got here to get this game back under control. But the fear comes out. Dark Mago burning the Chrysalis. That's going to be a dieback. And the three heroes remaining retreating back into their base as Mega Creeps have been secured. And boom, just seemingly not stopping on this lone druid. There's just not a setup for Ice Blast outside of this Earthshaker. It's, it's too much for them, right? Like, they've been on the back foot nearly for like 37 minutes now, the entire game. And the Ancient is getting hit. Oh, what a sprout, going puppy. The Adding insult to injury here. The Ice Blast finally comes out. It doesn't connect again, thanks to the Stampede. Boom, will be able to survive. And just like that, game one will go the way of secret.